I cannot believe mm. how woody it is up front. When, as, soon, as soon as you hit your, your tongue, I get a massive wood. <laughs> I said that on the camera. <laughs> I get a massive wood. What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. Hey guys. It is Scotch for Dummy. <laughs> for guys and the Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Maybe it's, it's an Irish purchase. Irish purchase? We're in the wrong part of mm, the island, What island, channel boys? are we on right now? I don't know. <laughs> what channel is this? this? Out. Something different. Something different. Shake it up a little bit. It's yellow. It's, it's Irish. <laughs> What's the deal with the spot? Talk, talk, about, talk to us about spot. Who knows well, let's spot. talk about Irish whiskey I'll first pour. for a half second. Irish whiskey, what really sets it apart? Triple distilled. Bingo, that's the one thing. Everyone right? knows it. It's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that word. Um, so triple distilled, obviously. The story behind the spot whiskey, which you're seeing the yellow spot of, they have a blue, a yellow, a green. And a red. Right, and that was the, not in the right order. But anyway, the red is 15. Red yep. is 15. Yellow. This is 12. Green is 10, 10 and blue. blue is 7? Seven? 7. Yeah. Seven. Haven't found a blue yet. Um, so anyway, the story behind them nice is the, uh, the Mitchell family opens up a business in 1805. They start getting into whiskey and under the namaker of the name of Spot. And they use these spots to designate the age of their barrels. They take, you know, a splotch of paint with a, or a thumb and they they, that's how they mark the barrels in the warehouse. And so now here it comes back. The company is actually owned by... Pernod Ricard. Pernod Ricard, you Irish said. Irish distiller in Pernod. Um, and I don't know how, how long Spot's been around now. I know it's been a little while. Blue is the most recent one that's come out. I still haven't seen one of those on a shelf. For, for a while, all you could get was green. Right. I think right. that was all they were doing. And then they came out with yellow, and that was pretty well received. And then you occasionally see blue and red. Yeah, here the red's there. hard. Red's come. super, super hard to come What's this by. go for? That's a good uh, question. It's like, it's not bad. It's about $85 or so. Okay. I mean, so 85, 12 year bucks. old. 46% uh, ABV. Okay. Um, Non-chill filtered. I don't see anything about coloring. I don't know if you can even add color to Irish whiskey, can you? I would assume you yeah, can. I'm sure you can. I, but honestly, maybe right. Pretty popular, recognized bottle. Yep, very much. Right? Yeah, very much. And, so. and we're looking at a triple cast yes. matured. So American bourbon, uh, Spanish sherry, and Spanish Malaga casks. Right. So so we'll have some sweet notes from from the sherry and the Malaga. Okay. Let's get the nosing, guys. Yep. Yeah. Let's nose. nose this, man. Mm. Can I say smooth? <laughs> it smells smooth. <laughs> I, I will say it, it smells a lot more pungent than I was anticipating. I expected lighter. Yeah. I mean, it, it's got a, well, and I think that's the sherry and the Malaga cast. I agree. You get a lot of yeah. those sweet, fruity notes going on. It smells like a little bit of a marshmallow on that yeah, creamy Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting as much of the, you know, there's not much. Butter. Yeah. There's not much oak, you know, oakiness in it. No. It's not the nose. It's just light. Uh, it, it is light. Um, Semi-fragrant. Uh, a hint of perfume, maybe. I get a little go. dessert spices, and yeah, it's it's got a perfumey, sweet nose. Yeah, honey and vanilla. Well, uh, honey, honey. And, I think honey's honey, there for vanilla, sure. Vanilla. You guys ready to taste? Let's yeah. Taste it. Let's get on this. Look who you're talking to. Put that on the tongue. Mm. Wood sweet right away. Mm -hmm. Some nuttiness. Spicy? I can tell. It's, it's got a nice... The spice comes in kind of the mid palate and, and carries through the finish. Very much. But so. up front, it's got a very nice sweet note to mm -hmm. it. But I got a lot of, of oak That's on the exactly very right like initial, initial palate, really? and then that faded off, and I got a lot of like sweet dessert type oh, flavors, and then it faded into a spicier like clove white pepper note, and that yes. kind of carried through the. It's, it's, the mid a, it's a rolling finish. palate for sure with up front. Strong, sweet wood, and then it rolls into maybe some spiciness and some other things. Much thicker on the glass than I thought, too. I mean, it's oily. Uh, hmm. oh, it's really got a long finish. I mean, it stays with you. The nose is pleasant, but not nothing too complex. But that's kind of what I That's kind of what we expect, too. Out of a triple distilled yeah. whiskey, right. Uh, this is a very good sipping whiskey. So this is one of those ones that, you know... It's worth 85 bucks to 
to sip on. It's sweet, light. Um, That's really good. The Madeira. Malaga. 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 I cannot believe mm. how woody it is up front. As soon as, soon as you hit your, your tongue, I get a massive wood. <laughs> I said that on camera. <laughs> a massive wood, uh, wood taste with sweetness behind it. I mean, that's that's a perfect segue right there. Like oak or? Uh, I think it's that oak. But then it, it doesn't last very long, and then it goes right into that spices, nutmeg, allspice, um, and, and pepper, white pepper at the end. Very much so. I Can honestly it think it drinks a little bit hotter than 46. I, I think that's the pepper. It has to be the <laughs> it pepper. It is. It is pepper. I, some water. Who wants to go? Oh, yeah. Water. Yeah, I want to put a dropper to it. And I think it'll handle it well. Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of surprised at the, the depth of flavor and character from this one. Not that I don't like Irish whiskeys. I do. But usually sure. I think of them as, as lighter, less lingering finishes generally. <laughs> not as complex. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, and they're kind of not supposed to be, right? right. I mean, they're, they're just a lighter kind of style of whiskey. And this has a lot of body and character. Three different casks. I nose, think that's the, what's coming the nose in. is richer now. Yeah, the, and the non-shell filtered and forty-six percent. You got all those things that make a make a uh, whiskey more. Oh, oh better wow. mouthfeel. That's really good with water. Wow, oh, that it's really like sherry comes out. I think it made it smell more oaty, it, like oats. It, I get a lot more of that wood influence on the nose now, and and sherryness on the nose with some water. I only add a couple drops. It's, it's like those. Uh, those little cookies that have the jam in the middle, you know the ones I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So it's got the sweet, cool. but it's got some bread. of the yeah, those little shortbread like jam cookies. Wow, that's um, that water really changed that. It's I don't get as much of the spice now with the water on it, and it lets me get some of those wow. sweeter notes, this and it, it's almost a layer more complex than it was without the water, uh, which is super I think interesting. It, I think it brings out the sherry and the and the wine a little more. Than um, before. Before it was, I think I don't know. This is gonna be tough to score. I I'm enjoying this. Um, I think I'll, I'm ready if you guys want me to go. Yeah, go show the hit, man. So uh, delicious model. I I am very appreciative of this so far. Um, I'm gonna talk my way up to my score here for a second. So um, we already talked about the nose. It's it's perfumey, honey, um, mostly kind of a, a light wood, maybe some salt salt on the nose. Uh, neat. Uh, with the palate is all that wood, that massive wood up front, uh, sweetness, and that rolled back to that saltiness and, and somewhat spiciness. But with the water, the water really, I think, is the key here to open it up. Um, it, I didn't put much on it because it's not that high of ABV, but it, it's enough to hold it. And it really opened up more the wood on the nose, sweetness, that sherry came through on the nose. And now on, on the palate, I'm getting even more wood. I'm actually chewing on that wood too for a longer finish here than I had before. The, the, the salty, briny, spiciness pepper is not nearly as strong as it was. Um, I'm enjoying this one. It, it's not super complex, but man, it's such, like I could see myself pouring this and sipping it every day. Like it's, you get yeah. in trouble because it's so easy to drink. It is it's, easy to drink. And it's, it's, it's a nice taste. It reminds me of a, a well done scotch. And so I'm gonna give this one uh, 80 bucks. I'm gonna give it a three five. I, I really like this bottle. Ooh. Very good. <clears throat> nice. All right. So wow, sir. It, this is different than I was expecting wow. uh, when we first sat down because I I think Irish. I think lighter, um, just shorter finishes. Uh, that's just generally the style of whiskey that I think of when I think of Irish. This is a very complex, well put together whiskey. Um, yes to pretty much everything Drew said. Um, I like the sweet notes and the two different kinds of sweet casks, I think give it layers of complexity mm. that it wouldn't have otherwise. I was shocked at how good it is with water. Even putting a little more water on it, it totally holds up fine. And at 46, I was kind of thinking that the water would maybe like tame it down a little too much. Um, it stands up to all of it. For the price tag, I find this hard to beat. So I'm kind of with Drew, I think a 3.5 is in order. 12 years. Wow, sir. Beat that. Um, I don't know if I can beat it or not, but I'll tell you what. You guys uh, hit it all. The nose for me, you got the perfume, yes, and the, and the, the pepper, you know, the the pepper on the on the palate was definitely strong. I didn't get so much of the oak up front, uh, neat. It was it was kind of, like I said, it drank a little hotter, and that's the spiciness that was in it. I got to tell you, where this thing shines through, blows me away, is like five drops of water on this thing. I know a few people that... Um, 
that's all they drink is Irish whiskey, and most of them drink it with a few cubes on it. I would hate to put an ice no. cube on this. I think it would just destroy. It's so beautiful with about five drops of water. That's where you yep. need to come in with it, exactly. and it's wonderful. You throw a, a cube in there, I think it's just going to damage and bruise the hell out of it. You're yeah. going to miss it. Um, I'm really impressed. 80 bucks. I don't know if 80 bucks is good or bad for, for Irish shit at a 12 year. I really don't know the price point. I'm trying to compare it to like what I know of red breast and whatnot. And I don't know if that's high or in the middle. Mm. I'm just going to go without the price point and, and what I enjoy. It, it is a solid 3.5, guys. It, I mean, I, I played it up when you said 3.5, like, oh, and I was thinking all the way in my mind, I've already given this thing a 3.5. Because <laughs> it, it's really, really good. And you can drink this. I mean, it's a slow drinker, too. I'm going I, to buy a bottle of this and yes, drink it. It's um, so good. It's easy yeah. to sip. Thumbs up for me. Yeah, I agree to all yours. Couple couple notes I'll add. Um, when you add more water to it, it gets like more bready, which is written. It's got good. It maintains the mouthfeel. It's all that creaminess and, and breadiness to it. Um, and I'll, with the last splash of water, I'm getting like green grapes and stuff on it now too. Mm, so, I, I am as well. So it's just it, it's a great whiskey. And a three five is a, is a solid score. Um, because it's got it kind of changes so much as you add the water and spend time with it. Mm -hmm. So I love whiskey that does that three five all the way. Well, that's, so, that math's easy for there. It yeah, is. I, I mean, I got more vanilla coming out from the. Oh, I, it's just amazing. <laughs> I, I'm really <laughs> enjoying uh, this. Is one. this our first Irish? I don't know if it's, our, know if it's first our first Irish, yeah, but maybe. we haven't done an Irish in a long time, and so go. it was. It's well, due. maybe we need to do UK. UK for dummies oh. <laughs> because we like the Irish and the Scotch, so maybe. Oh boy, I'm down. I'll tell you what, this is a hint of what I'm expecting from our Irish bottles. I'm down because this is delicious, it's very good. I like it. All right, guys, easy math three, three five, five from all of us. The dummies. Thanks Beat for that. watching. We'll see you Cheers. guys next time. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Hell yes, three, two, mm. one. Here we go.